Since 1994, Sarki has solved the challenges of automated optical inspection with a full line of 2D AOI and 3D AOI, SBI and AXI systems and the first self-programming and self-tuning software. Sarki has become a respected leader in the Smart Factory Industry 4.0 and M2M communication revolution. Welcome to Thermaltronics here at Productronica. Uh, delighted to be joined by Michael Goldsmith. Good to see you, Michael. And good to see you too, Trevor. So um, you've had a, a whirlwind of a year. Uh, you started out at Apex at the beginning of the year with a, uh, a very initiative, a very innovative, should I say, um, soldering robot, yes. now, which really emulates how a human solders, which is, uh, is, is, is quite incredible. Uh, but you've gone one step further uh, recently and introduced an inline version. Yes, uh, it, it wasn't in our original product development portfolio, but as, as often happens, mm -hmm. it, you're driven by the requirements of the industry. And larger contract manufacturers are looking to put this kind of process of robotic soldering in an inline environment. So you became a, a victim of your own success. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we became a victim of our own success. And uh, so what are, what are the key things that you had to, to really take into account when you went inline? Uh, well, one thing that uh, certainly is a requirement is a much larger board area. And most of the contra manufacturers have boards which vary in size and in length. So we can do with this new inline system a board 450 by 550 millimeter, which will big. take care of most applications. Right, well, I take you up into, because uh, these big 5G boards that are coming down yes. uh, are a lot bigger and heavier. Yes. Uh, is, it, is it made to, to cope with these? Yes, it's made to cope with those. We also are going to uh, provide uh, a way to do uh, preheating of the board mm -hmm. so that when you have these heavy ground plane boards, We'll, we'll be working with the, the, the contract manufacturers to help solve their preheating problems as well. Okay. Yeah. Um, so what other uh, changes have you uh, made to the inline version versus the, the standalone that we saw? Well, in a, in a the, the basic platform for the inline version is very much the same. The software is the same. Obviously, you have to amend it because you've got a much larger board area to work with. Mm -hmm. Uh, but the, probably one of the more important improvements is speed. We can travel between joints at 800 millimeters a second because uh, contra manufacturers are looking for good pass-through cycle times. Right. So is this uh, able to keep up with line speed then? Uh, yes, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the, the actual soldering process, you cannot speed up beyond the two to five second general cycle time. You know, the dwell time but the but the the actual distance travel between solder joints you can certainly improve. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, I believe you've also um, taken some steps to put in a, a color cameras. Why have you done that? Uh, yes, we added a color camera because that's we because we have vision and mapping. We're able to look at the before and after picture of the board, so we can already identify voids. Uh, However, with a black and white camera, it's difficult to see solder profile. Right. So with a color camera, you can see better the shadows and so on and so forth. Mm -hmm. So we'll be able to build in, we think, um, uh, at some stage in the future, certainly not an AOI full process, but a first step look at the board to see if it's within specification. So basic, basic vision, and, and uh, you'll be able to, I assume, pull that data off and uh, yes. uh, that yes. sort no, of thing. We, we, we realize we have to conform. We, we, all customers are looking for accuracy, repeatability, traceability. We, we, we've not lost sight of any of that. And you'll be able to add in a barcode really if you want to barcode yourself and then barcode the product. So we, we're fully aware of all the requirements of Industry 4.0. So. Yeah. Well, that's excellent. So, um, uh, again, congratulations on uh, um, actually coming to this 
point so quickly. Uh, I don't know how you did it with the amount of uh, business you've been doing this year. Well, uh, certainly, we've said to our distributors for the last two years, we've spent a lot of time and a lot of effort on product development. We believe we've reached the point now where we've got what the customer needs. Now it's up to our distribution channel to sell it. <laughs> there you go. Oh, well, uh, I, wish you every, I wish you every success certainly doing that. Okay. But um, thank you for bringing us up to speed, Michael, and uh, joining us today. Okay, thank you, Trevor. Pleasure.